How's it going guys? My name is George Taylor and I'm the founder of Gramercy.com. I've got some really exciting news for you. Our 2.0 platform has finally launched. But before I get into that, I just want to start off by saying thank you to all the amazing people that have supported us and that we have worked with this last two and a half years. It has been a huge honour and we couldn't have done it without you. In 2020, I was reading TechCrunch and Forbes pretty much every single day. And it really bothered me that hardly any retail brands are being featured. And I thought to myself, why isn't retail getting the coverage that it deserves? I felt as though it was an underrepresented sector. So I decided to launch a platform that was dedicated specifically to retail startups. So originally, when we first launched in July, August 2020, it was just me and Ashley. However, later on that year, in October, we hired Lauren. So over the last two and a half years, we've built quite a big online readership. We've amassed a really nice social media following. We've worked with well over a thousand entrepreneurs, predominantly women founders and uh, products for women. And uh, we've worked with some incredible people. It's a long list, so I'm not going to mention any names. However, I have put some of our key highlights here. So what makes us different then? And why should you use us? Well, firstly, we're the only online retail startup magazine that I've been able to identify. I have looked and looked and looked. I've spoken to some of the PR companies we've worked with and some of the brands, and I just haven't been able to identify anybody that's doing what we're doing. Also, unlike a lot of other publishers, we provide a quick, easy, and free service for retail startups to get featured on our platform. All you have to do is send us a press release and some photos, and as long as you meet our criteria, we will feature you. Um, with the launch of our 2.0 platform, we now provide a narrative commerce service. I will go into more detail about that later. This enables customers to make more informed purchases. And again, I'll explain later. But most importantly, uh, Gramercy offers people the ability to discover new retail startups, new innovations quickly and easily. And over the last two and a half years, we've been lucky enough to build a well-respected brand, a rapidly growing community that just keeps on getting bigger. And I think that's really important. Now we're living in a recession, we're living in a cost of living crisis, and Gramercy.com gives startups a new way to get discovered. Right, I'm gonna give you a quick demo of the platform now, and I'm gonna split this out into two different demos. Demo one is for customers, and demo two is for startups. But before I do that, I think it's really important to start out by managing everybody's expectations. We're a really early stage platform and a large part of this for us is to get your feedback so we can use that to build something that everybody's going to want to use. So let's talk about narrative commerce then. As you can see here, I've got an article about Yannicka Cordina, who owns Cordina Hair. She's famous for inventing the flower curl and you may well have seen a pitch on Dragon's Den in 2021. What's different about this article is that if you scroll to the middle or to the bottom, you can buy Yannicka's products directly from the article with one or two clicks. Unlike other e-commerce platforms, this way of shopping gives you the ability to learn more about Yannicka's story and to make a more informed purchase decision. So let's look at a product. If I click on this link here, it will take me to this product page. Firstly, you can browse product photos here. Also, there's a short description and the price here, the ability to choose what options you want. You can add to basket, buy now, uh, buy with Klarna. And if you want to find out more information, there's a long description tab here. And there's also a section where it will tell you information about shipping and refund information. There are multiple different ways to get to a vendor profile on our website. The first one is if you're on a product page, all you have to do is click the brand link here. If you're on an article, there are three ways of doing it. Firstly, in the middle of the page, where the shoppable widget is, at the bottom here, or on this section here where it says visit Cordina Hair's profile. Just to let you know, this only applies to brands that were actually listing their items on the website. If they're not listed, this one show up. Here's what a vendor profile looks like. You've got name, profile picture, short description. If you've got an account on a website, you can contact the vendor and ask them any questions. You know, what size do you do? What colors do you do? You can follow that brand. And at the bottom here, we've got four main tabs. So tab one is the products, which again, you can click through to get to that product tab. Tab two is any articles or videos we've written about them. Tab three is any customer reviews that they've received. And tab four is the ability to look at shipping and refund policies. As you can see on this article, we've got a video about Yannicka Cordina. Hi, 
I'm Yannicka Corina and I am the founder of Corina Hair. And what's great about this video is if you look just below, you see we've got our shoppable mechanism there. That enables people to buy Yannicka's products directly from the article whilst watching it. And last but not least, I'd just like to show you our brand new advanced search function. So as you can see, I've typed Zag here. If I were to click enter, here's what would show up. What's great about this page is that as you can see, the search results will show up as three different segments. Segment one is posts. Segment two is products. And segment three is vendor profiles. This gives you, the user, the ability to choose what you digest and how. So let's click on posts. As you can see, all Zag articles have showed up. Let me just remind you that if you do click onto the article, you can buy from that article. In the middle and at the bottom. In order to register as a vendor on Gramercy.com, we have a really simple sign-up process. And the first stage of that is to fill out this really basic Google form. It's really simple, ask some real basic business information, shouldn't take any more than five minutes to sign up. And if you would like to register, feel free to reach out and we'll send you a link to the form. Once you've filled that form out, we'll create your account for you. We'll send you your login details and all you have to do is go on the My Accounts section of our website, which is gramercy.com forward slash my hyphen account and login. And once you've logged in on the left hand side, you'll see that we have a bunch of different tabs. So this is our product page. It's really simple. It enables you to add new products and manage your existing ones. If you'd like to add a new product, all you have to do is hit this big red button here at the top right corner, and that will pull up the ability to add a new product. And the page looks really simple, just like this. If you'd like to manage an existing listing, click the edit section under the name. And here's what it will look like. As you can see, it's quite simple. It's quite straightforward. If you click on the order section of the vendor dashboard, you'll be able to see all previous customer orders right here. And if you'd like to create a discount code, you can do that under the coupon section. To access any reports like sales history and that sort of thing, click on the report section of the dashboard. And if you have received any reviews, you can access those reviews through the review section. If we, Gramercy, make any announcements to you, the vendor, you'll be able to see those in the announcement sections on the dashboard. And we have a DM facility within the website. Customers can contact you through the vendor profile and ask, you know, do you sell it in this size? Do you sell it in this color? And all of your messages from customers will arrive here under the messages section. And last, but definitely not least, let's click on the settings section. In here, we've got the ability to alter your profile. You can change your profile picture, change your brand name, choose a category, and add a profile description. And also you can add your shipping information and your refund policy. I'm gonna talk about this in a bit more detail later, but we use Stripe Connect as our payment provider. And in order to set up your Stripe account with us, click on the payment section. And finally, you can add all of your shipping settings in here. So that concludes the demo. Let's get back to the presentation. I thought you might find it interesting to know that 90 to 95% of the founders we feature on Gramercy are women and that 90 to 95% of the products we list are products for women. Because we're a retail platform, we specialize in multiple different categories, but I'd say that our most popular categories are food, beauty and skincare and cosmetics and makeup, baby, fashion and nutrition and sports. In terms of shopping platform traction to date, we've already started to generate monthly e-commerce sales. We've got almost 100 brands signed up so far, including Psychic Sisters, Caffeine Bullet, and Impossible Brew, who you may well have seen on Dragon's Den. And just to let you know, if you do decide to register as a vendor, we don't charge a sign-up fee or a subscription fee of any sorts. We only charge a fixed 15% commission per sale and the 0.20p fee per sale. And like I said earlier, our payment provider is Stripe Connect. So I've saved the most important slide to last. This year, we have two goals. Number one, promote this new platform to as many people as possible. And number two, gain as much feedback and data as possible. Because ultimately, our goal is to build something that you guys actually want to use. And we can't do that without your feedback. 
So I have created a little survey. I am going to provide you with a link, and I'd really appreciate if you go onto the website, have a little go, fill out that survey, and get in touch with any suggestions. We'd really appreciate it. And if you'd like to get in touch or register or send us your story, the way to do that is to email us on info at gramercy.com. And if you do want to sign up or send us your press release, we have some really loose and basic criteria. Um, firstly, you must be a retail startup. We don't deal with the likes of Heinz and Innocent Drinks and the Nikes. We deal with small independent brands only. Also, it must be a physical product. We don't deal with the likes of insurance or anything like that. Um, we don't cover tech or apps. So, you know, no Tinders, no social media platforms and also services. If you're a lawyer or an accountant or a builder, we won't cover that either. And last but not least, it needs to be own brand. It needs to be your brand. It can't be something you bought in from a different country or that you've got a UK licensing or distribution deal for. And that brings us to the end. Thank you very much for watching this video. We'd love you to be a part of what we're doing moving forward. And I just want to finish up by saying one more time, thank you so much to everybody that has supported us and worked with us the last two and a half years. It has been the biggest honor of my life. And here's to another good two and a half years.